Hi, this is Coach Joe Lucas, and today what I want to talk to you about is when you're in a client acquisition process. So in other words, when you're taking somebody that was either referred to you or you networked with or they came to one of your client events or seminars, however somebody walks in your door, you know, what are some of the factors that gets them, in essence, over that decision-making hump to get the yes, right? So, you know, I was just working with a new client and I was going over his client acquisition process. And uh, this is a very positive person, um, you know, in, in our terms, very moving towards. So moving towards pleasure, moving toward a better situation. That's kind of the way the, the advisor is wired, right? So when we're wired a certain way, uh, we tend to what I call talk, describe, um, in, in other words, sell in that kind of style. And there's two basic, and we all blend, by the way, so there's two forces. And for those that are watching me on YouTube, so on one side we have what we call our moving towards, right? That's our pleasure, right? That's, that's our pleasure process. In other words, hey, look how great things are over there. Uh, you know, you become a client of ours, you know, we're going to have these calls and we're going to do reviews and we're going to have you back, you, we're going to have your back and you're going to have a financial plan and you get to come to all these great client events and all this stuff and that's all the pleasure, right? Right here. On the other side is pain, right? What we call the moving away, the not so good stuff. And all human beings have a combination of both or they, they view both in order to make a decision on whether they should do something or not. You know, that's one of the factors. There's several, but we're going to focus on this one. And so you have, when you're more geared towards all the great things that you can do for somebody, you get all excited, you kind of only fire them off this one lever. Now, if the person you're speaking with, the prospect in other words, and yes, we're going to use that word, is wired like you, you resonate. It's like two peas in a pot, right? And you're going to get the deal. They're going to say yes to you. They'll sign on, sign your ADV, your count forms, whatever, and away we go. And those are great, right? In fact, you just, man, how come they all can't be that easy, right? It would be wonderful it was, but it's not. The other side, and by the way, most people have a predominant negative P, so a pain piece, if you will. Most people will do more. Here's the term, and I got this from Tony Robbins, so I can't take credit for it. Most people will do more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure. Now, that's a very important statement that we need to remember in our industry because you've got to operate with both. The challenge for most advisors and planners is that they don't like that conversation because it's kind of, you know, it's not comfortable, but it's highly effective. And here's the question you need to ask yourself. Are you there to do what's in their best interest? You know, this whole fiduciary thing. And here's my point. If you know that you can improve, you know, this prospect, this, this referral, this whoever this person is, you can do that. But you don't do your best or make best efforts to persuade them, to influence them, to hire you. Did you really operate in your best capacity? Or did, you cha or did you basically take the easy way out? Oh, well, they weren't going to do anything anyway, and we have that rationalization, right, that we have. So what you need to do is to how to, now how do we fire off that pain? It's very simple. You ask questions about their current situation. So, hey, you know, tell me a little bit about your current, assuming they're with an, a, a competitor. Hey, tell me about your current relationship with your current advisor. Tell me about that. And you let them talk about it, and, and then you say, well, you know, what, what do you wish was better or what brought you here? You know, nobody's going to go sit with somebody unless there's a, a reason for it. So I need to know what that reason is. And you need to kind of, you know, kind of dig in there a little bit and then say, well, tell me more about that and why is that important to you and don't you feel like you deserve better than that? And you need to kind of get in there, right? Now, if we're doing fees, we like to extrapolate fees. So if, if, if they're being overcharged or charged in a higher scenario, we don't want to talk about, well, we can shave 25 basis points off I want to take that 25 and show them what it cost them in the last 10 years and what it potentially may cost them in the next 10 years. I want to, I want to kind of put gasoline on that pain because I need to get them over that decision-making threshold. Remember, most people, do not, most people do not like change. And you represent change to people, right? Now, hopefully change for the better. That's our goal, right? But if, you're, if you have a prospect or you're, you've been, you know, kind of, you know, pinging somebody, have somebody play for a while, 
and you know, and it makes all sense in the world to do it, and you just can't get them over the hump. Uh, probably one of the prime drivers of not getting them over that hump is their mind. The, the pain and discomfort of making the change is more than the pain of staying where they are. So you can talk to them about all how the grass is greener over here and all the wonderful things you're going to do for them. It will not get them over that hump. The only thing that will get them over the hump, and this is where you've got to be a true pro. You've got to be able to sit down with them or even over the phone, doesn't matter, and, and have that conversation and really talk to them about why do you stay? What's going to be different? Five years from now, you don't make these changes. What's going to be different in your world? You've got to be willing to get in there, and they got to, you've got to help them self-realize that it's in their best interest to make a change. Sometimes it happens because you're lucky or you just kind of match the right style and you kind of hit the right buttons. That's great. But why not have all the power? Why not have it all the time? So no matter who you sit with, you can go ahead and be effective. Now, you may think this is selling, and if so, hey, define it the way you like. I look at it as doing what's in a person's best interest. If you, do, if you truly believe you have a fiduciary duty to help this person, then let's make sure you do everything possible, right? So I want you to keep that in mind. Go back to some of the people that you've been kind of ineffective with. And let's go after a new strategy, right? So pain, pleasure. And for those Magellan members, uh, this weekend I'm going to be pushing out a whole 20-minute video on how to really pull this off. So with that being said, enjoy your week, and uh, I will see you in a couple days.